light shift and like impulsive like why don't you like welcome back to give yourself a name what do you mean what welcome back to laura's vlog so we're on the night shift you they say welcome back to the night shift we're clacking in Cl right. clacking in clocking in okay so welcome back to laura and tom's vlogs we're, 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 we're clocking, clocking in, in. <laughs> we're not down with the cool kids anyway so i thought that i would do like a spend a weekend with us we're not doing anything too exciting we've just got some bits and bobs to do around the house but i've never done one of these and i enjoy watching them so i thought let's just do it this weekend so it's saturday morning it's very foggy out it is you put that up? I see the mirror. oh sorry right here um it is 10 to 10 and we are on our way to a wood recycling center because um th about this time last year actually um our spit it out yeah no i can't get my words out this morning about this time last year we made a console table out of um scaffolding boards and i put it on here and on my instagram actually so hopefully you'd have seen it um but i really want to do another one because tom did such a fabulous job on the first one um and i really want to change our little console table that we're having in our living room so that's where we are off to this morning to buy the wood to make the table today um but where the material prices have really gone up i think last year a scaffolding board did you say it was about 20 pounds we think it was about 20 pounds and when we looked on the website this time there were 40 pounds per board and i think we need is that per meter we need three meters so it'll be 120 pound something like that so we'll see when we get there um but yeah so that is the first task of today So you're gonna do a, a cheese and ham toasty, but in the pan. Are you buttering both sides of the bread? Yeah. I'm gonna give that a go. Butter doesn't like. No, it like. spreads beautifully. You? It doesn't. It does. It's like that comes off. Look. Cause you've got plenty on there. You've got yeah. loads on there. Loves a bit of cheese. Come, sit. Good boy. Lie down. Good boy. You roll over. No. You got spin though. That was what Lie down. Roll over. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. You burnt it. I don't know how to do it though, right? but you have to cook, put butter in the pan. easily so I just use a bleach spray every now and then like probably like twice a week to um, just clean it up and it just helps to take the stains away so this was the longer length for the legs and then we got the shorter length for the top but what we forgot was upstairs we used a wider whoops a wider one for the top <clears throat> these are the same widths 
it's just not going to look right because the legs are going to be the same width as the table uh, sorry the top of it so i should have got a wider top bit or either and then or the other option is to rip these down so the legs are narrower but then i feel like it's going to lose its like chunkiness it's going to be well if the legs are like the legs are going to have to be ripped well, down yeah. like almost no all you have to do three, is take off like 30 mil 30 mil which is how much like that 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 and then you have three like centimeters. a 15 mil overhang either side and then it'll sit against the wall well 18 mil so it fits over the skirting I'm going back to the recycling wood place because we should have got the wider top and I thought we could make it work but it's just not going to be right so I'm going back it's like 20 minutes there and then 20 minutes back I'm going to pop a podcast on but yeah I know it seems like such a faff going back but um if we're going to do it I want to like do it right and I want it to be the vision that I've got in my head so let's go and exchange it i've got the wider bit of wood for the top half it's here you can't really see it because it's on its side um but i listened to the where's my phone oh, in this pocket so many pockets in this coat i normally use it for um dog walking way i was listening to the sheer lux podcast i really like this as more of just like a easy listening chatter like one um and they haven't been on for a little while because of christmas um i've been listening to like a lot of more heavy listening recently and um, so this is just like a nice easy listen let's go home and get this table made so this is the wall where the table did sit and this was the table we had there before i'll pop a picture in here of what it looked like up i do really like it but i've just gone off these like metal legs so i don't know whether we're going to keep this or just sell it on facebook marketplace for now but this wall did have quite a lot of um, like scratches and marks and things on. So Tom has kindly just going over all of that. I didn't have anything to eat earlier. So now I'm back. I am going to make some eggs on toast. Okay, so now this is much better. So this wide one will be the top. And then the legs are slightly narrower. So that will work much better. It's like forever Since we've been to already my weekends are extremely unglamorous i feel all i do on weekends is tidy up clean do washing and basically just tidy the house i just seem to get in such a mess all week and then i think oh, i should leave it to the weekend leave it to the weekend and then it gets to the weekend and everything needs a tidy and i did some filming um yesterday in my office so like this side is all tidy where i film but it's because i shove everything over there so my job now is to tidy all of that um and also my wardrobe upstairs is a mess but i'm thinking that tomorrow i might actually like clear it out a bit um and have yeah a bit of a wardrobe clear up because it's getting tight in there when I'm putting things away and there's so many things in there that I'm just not wearing and I just hate them taking up space because when I go to choose an outfit it just feels like it clutters my mind seeing stuff that I don't like and also it just clutters the space and then I can't see and yeah so I think I might have a wardrobe tidy up tomorrow um but I'm going to yeah tidy up now downstairs and then um I started to re-watch I think it's called Safe on Netflix it's I can't remember his actual name but it's got Dexter in it and it's so weird because he's got an English accent in it um but I did watch it when it first came out which I think was in 2018 and I started to watch it again because it's really good but I also forgot what happened so it does feel like when I'm watching it I actually can't remember but I'm still thinking like what's going on who did it um so yeah I think I might watch another episode of that this afternoon and also last night we started to watch The Bay that's back on ITV as well so I'm gonna get tidied up I put that load of washing on and I know that sounds so weird but I often use the washing machine as like a timer for myself so I've got until the timer ends on the washing machine to get the tidying up done so let's get on with it when we wake Birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. 
call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I the future is bright Here is the finished table that I'm so, so pleased with. Well done, Tom. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. I've just had a really nice shower and done my skincare, moisturised and put some clean, comfy clothes on because my parents and brother are on the way around for a takeaway tonight. So my outfit this evening is from Naked Fashion. Um, this is such a gorgeous little zip up jumper. It's so nice, it's really nice green. And then I've got them on with these knitted wool trousers. I feel so warm, actually so hot. I might have to turn the heating off. Um, but I've actually got 20% code off for Naked Fashion as well. So I'll leave it below, but it's Laura A20. I'm going to put my slippers on as well, if I can get them back. it is now Sunday morning yes I am wearing the same jumper that I had on yesterday um, it's just so like cozy and soft and we're just at home this morning so I've just put it back on and the hair desperately needs washing but I'm washing it tomorrow so it's just up today I think I've made a bit of an error um, so basically I washed some tea towels and face cloths and things first thing this morning um, and I put those on a hot wash and then I did a wool wash and Tom had this new like wool zipper and he was really adamant about hand washing it and I was like no no you can put it in the washing machine there's a wool setting on our washing machine but and then I put some other of my wool and things in there as well and just now like halfway through the wash I've thought I didn't turn the temperature down so although I put it on the wool setting I didn't change the temperature so the wool things have been washed at 60 degrees I mean, they're gonna come out like baby's clothes. But I've also put some of my wool things in there, like my And Other Stories blazer, um, and a really nice woolen, uh, like a wool set that I've got. And obviously wool things are expensive. So they're like all our most expensive clothes have now potentially just been shrunk. But let's just see what happens. I've still got like half an hour to wait to see what's happened, but anyway. I made a couple of orders at the beginning of the year with just a few new clothing bits um, from Zara and H&M. So they have arrived yesterday. So I'm going to hang those up and pop them on the rail ready for me to film like a new in, um, new year haul kind of thing. I'm gonna film that next week. Tom is busy tiling this morning. <laughs> I showed you in a couple of vlogs ago our like where we are at with our downstairs um, little bathroom and yeah Tom is doing the tiling today. We've had quite a lot of like hold ups with like deliveries and stuff um, but the tiling is going on. We're going really simple in here with just white metro tiles and with white grout as well. This has all been cladded around the side and we're going with a navy blue on this. It's going to look so nice. But I'm not going to show you too much because I want to show it all when it's all finished. How much easier are these to do than the upstairs herringbone ones? A lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> Will you be doing any more herringbone tiles in our house? No. No. There's no more work to do now. There's no, no more herringbone tiles and no more tables to be made. <laughs> It is another eggs on toast day, breakfast today. So I'm gonna um, make us some breakfast and then head off and do the Tesco shop. Whenever we have finished with an egg box, I always fill it um, with Bertie's treats and give it to him as like a game. <laughs> okay. I am in the car 
about to go to Tesco and do the food shop for the week. Um, I've made it quite easy for myself this week because I'm going to do slow cooker dinners and when I do them I do like double the amount so that we can have it twice that week. So we normally just do four dinners in the week because that'll be like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and then Friday we usually have a takeaway or might eat out or if we don't we'll go back to the supermarket for dinner on Friday. So this week I'm doing a chicken casserole in the slow cooker so that'll probably be like Monday and Wednesday night and then I'm going to do a chilli con carne in the slow cooker as well so that'll probably be Tuesday and Thursday night. So actually haven't got loads to get in Tesco um, and then I've just got like lunch stuff, um, a few things like bin bags and um, like fabric detergent. So um, so Tom is still tiling while I go and do this and then we are going to go on a walk when I get back. I always forget that coming to Tesco on a Sunday I'm gonna go, okay, is... That's okay. Um, oh, I love when someone says like thank you a hundred times. That's always me like thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm going to go far away because I hate trying to get close and trying to find a car parking space. I've just gone in the furthest car park space away but i not driving around. But yeah, the car park is busy and I always forget coming to Tesco on a Sunday always sounds like a good idea, you know, get yourself started for the week, but it's always so busy. So wish me luck. Okay, Tesco shop done. It was busy. I'm just sanitizing my hands. I've got these really handy little bottles in my car. They're from a company called Let's Sanitize. Oh, it's all in my mouth. <laughs> Um, but they smell so nice and they're so handy. They're just little, I should keep them in my car. But look what I bought. Mini eggs! And they didn't have any small bags left. So this is a family bag. I literally couldn't wait to eat these. Mm. Oh. I love mini eggs so much. It's so bright. Okay. Mm. Go home unpack the shopping and then take Bertie out. I'm doing good for time. It's 10 to 12. So yeah, I don't like to be rushing around late on a Sunday this afternoon. So let's head home. Another job I need to do this afternoon is to go up in the loft because I didn't put all the Christmas things away. I keep finding little Christmassy bits um, and yeah so I need to pop them all with the Christmas bits upstairs. But I actually recently bought this from Sainsbury's because it was in the sale. I think buying um, Christmas stuff in January is such a good idea because it's so so discounted. I think that this is a, basically it's a candle. I'll take off the top and show you. I wish I bought two. I don't know why I bought one. I think they were like twelve pounds, and they'd been reduced so much they were three pounds. I probably won't use them as a candle, but I just thought they were such a nice little Christmas decoration. And the other day when I was in London, I went in to the White Company, and again they had huge discounts on their Christmas bits. They didn't have loads left, but they did have this big. It's like a faux garland. Um, it's absolutely huge. They put it in this big bag to make it easier for me to carry. Um, but it's actually not heavy, so it wasn't too bad. But it's just basically a big garland, but it's got um, lights in, so it's pre-lit, which makes it so much easier. But where's the tag on this? This was £120, um, but I got it for £38. Oh, oh here it is. Yeah, 60% off. It was... Oh, it was £95, sorry, it was £95, um, it's the Simmons Pre-Lit Garland, 180cm, um, and it's £38, so I'm absolutely chuffed with that, can't wait to get that back out. I think with Christmas things, as I said, January sales are such a good time to get um, Christmassy bits, because Christmas things don't go, well, there are like, obviously Christmas trends, and things change every year but things like 
your staple decorations are never going to change so i think getting them in the january sale is such a good idea so i'm really looking forward to getting this out um next christmas also i haven't shown this room that i'm in for ages this is our like spare bedroom we do keep it made up as a bedroom but we barely ever have anyone to stay so sometimes it does feel like a bit of a waste it very often just turns into a junk room but over christmas i completely cleared it out and got it back tidy there is stuff along that side of the bed but yeah and also i always get questions about what color is on the wall and it's called nature lover nearly forgot that it's nature lover by Vanessa. <laughs> today's dog walk is i'm really out of breath because we just walked up a hill is a cream fleece uh from h&m i've got my phase eight coat on uh, some adenola leggings and my wellies I look like such a little egghead with my hair all back we are back from our walk i have got a cup of tea and a little handful of mini eggs um and now i need to tidy my wardrobe there is a huge mound of clothes down here I need to hang up and I'm also heading into London tomorrow to shoot um, so I need to plan all my outfits that I want to shoot as well so I think I'm going to tidy up my wardrobe first and then like everything will be hung up so I can see everything more clearly um, we just try to go up in the loft because of shit because I had to put those Christmas bits back up there but somehow the last time that we put the ladders away they must have like slipped over the loft hatch so when we try and open the hatch it's being blocked by the ladders so i literally don't know what we're gonna do i think we have to like take off the like literally break through the hatch um there's always something isn't there so we'll leave that for today i'll have to keep the christmas stuff down here so we're gonna leave that for today that's that's another day's job not today so my plan for the rest of the day is to hang up these clothes and then choose and like plan my outfits for tomorrow i kind of want to plan at least like five five outfits maybe six i'll say five and then if i can find and like put together a nice sixth outfit then that's a bonus and then I need to edit this vlog and get it up tonight because I want it to go live tonight. And then if I can find and like put together a nice sixth outfit, then that's a bonus. And then I need to edit this vlog and get it up tonight because I want it to go live tonight. So, and then this evening, on a Sunday evening, I always sit at my desk for a bit, plan my week ahead, plan Monday, um, and and just kind of get on top of things for the week because I don't like starting Monday with no plan. While I am hanging up these clothes, I'm also gonna give my mum a ring. Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you Bad. Reach your letters and look at your pictures. Oh, God, I miss you so bad. It's been so so I have nearly finished choosing my outfits. I think I just want to find one more, but it's now four o'clock and I want to get this video edited and uploaded. So I'm going to end this vlog here. But for the rest of the evening, I have now made more mess picking my outfits. I need to tidy that up, confirm my fifth outfit, 
edit and upload this vlog i'd quite like to have a bath exfoliate and maybe do a little tan tonight um, but i hope you've all had a lovely weekend and thank you so much for watching this weekend vlog let me know if you like this um, and i can do more if you like thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you soon bye